Hello and welcome to Spring Cloud Dataflow 1.7. Let me introduce you to the new Spring Cloud Dataflow dashboard UI. Once logged in, you will notice that it was refactored to maximize available screen real estate by moving the main navigational menu elements from the top to the left. By clicking down here, we can minimize the left navigation even further. As you will see, there aren't any available applications registered yet. Let's import a few task and stream applications. Let's go over to add applications. We will use bulk import, provide the URL, import the applications. Let's import a couple of task applications. Add applications. We will use bulk import again. Provide the URL. Import the applications. And we should have now all tasks and streams that we wanted to import show up here on the data grid including sinks, processors, sources, and tasks. Over at the task tab, we will create a simple batch job. We will click create tasks. We will use the timestamp batch task. Let's move that over. We will connect everything, press create a task, provide a name, demo task, and press create the task. Let's execute the batch task without providing any arguments by going over here and pressing the launch the task button. After just a few brief moments, the task should have completed successfully. Next, we create a simple stream and execute it as well. Let's go over to the streams tab, press create streams. We will create a simple stream here, HTTP lock. Press create stream. Also provide a name here. Create the stream. Let's execute the stream. And also here, we will not provide any properties for the deployment. So all we do here is press deploy the stream. and the stream is being deployed as indicated by the deploying icon here. After a short moment, this sh stream should be deployed. Let's refresh and is being marked as deployed. You can get a list of available statuses over here. So we have deploying, deployed, incomplete, failed or undeployed. Now we should see all the relevant audit records that were captured under the audit records tab. So this is one of the few new features that we added for uh, Spring Cloud Data Flow 1.7. So on here, we were capturing uh, when the various operations were performed, what operations, if they uh, are related to streams or tasks or schedules, if you have the um, if you're using schedules, we also have the various actions that are being uh, that were being executed, like deploy, update, destroy, etc. 
the correlation ID, which in this case refers to the name of the stream or the name of the task. And if security is enabled, we will also provide uh, the username of the user that performed the task. And then of course, we will capture the re relevant data for each action and operation. So in this case, for example, we will have the stream here. When we go into the details and we capture the stream definition as well as the relevant deployment properties if those are available and set. We also provide search operations so you can search by the operation schedule stream task and or based on the actions create delete deploy rollback and deploy and update. This concludes the overview of some of the new features that are available with Spring Cloud Dataflow 1.7 in the UI. So please check it out, download it, and we will always looking forward to your feedback. Thank you so much.